And we're backstage here at the uh, ACMs, sponsored by Sudafed Sinus and Allergy, and uh, talking to lots of folks as they kind of come by and just talking about Vegas and things. And we got Rascal Flats uh, on the way as soon as I get done meeting and greeting. Hey, hey dude. How are you, bud? All right. Good to see you, brother. Gary, how are you, man? We're great. We're, We're great. on TV now, so right. we have to clean up. Hey, everybody. <laughs> hey, guys, Jay. Jay DeMarcus, Gary LaVox, Joe Don Rooney, of course, Rascal Flats. Yes. Let me think. Entertainer of the Year, Vocal Group of the Year, nominated for? Oh, nominated. I thought nominated. you were telling us earlier. No, oh, that you want? That we knew. <laughs> no, like, I don't tell know. Tell us a story, Lon. <laughs> you know, I want to start with you, actually, because... Uh, you know, what you've gone through in the last week has been pretty amazing, and, and we're all here in Vegas, and there's all the fun going on and all the other stuff, but your hometown of Pitcher, Oklahoma, was, you know, literally flattened by the tornadoes that came through, and I know that you got, what, you got in a car the next day and headed over to Pitcher to help out. Well, pretty much a couple of days, actually. I was trying to figure out how I was going to get there in the best way, and because they closed the town down, couldn't get in, couldn't get out, one of those things, but... Um, <clears throat> These guys helped me out a lot. We stepped up the table and um, donated a, a large sum of money to the Red Cross, the chapter out of Tulsa, to funnel straight through uh, to the people, the survivors, I should say, and the people that don't really have anything. I mean, their houses are completely gone. All they wow. have is a foundation. Wow. And so it was, um, it was really nice to be able to do that quickly, get it there. These guys helped out. I really appreciate these guys doing that because oh, that... it went to a great cause, and uh, those people really needed it. It was really sad. You know, it was amazing to me. Just a few days before that happened, you guys were in the studio, the radio studio with me, doing the countdown show, and we were talking about your involvement with the Red Cross. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking after that happened and saw what you guys were doing that, you know, you could sit around and talk about stuff and helping, and you kind of have that feeling, but yet all of a sudden it hits home a little closer, and you really understand more. Yeah, I mean, absolutely. It's just it's one thing to to say, yeah, we're we're a part of the Red Cross, and you know, but to, you know, I think it to really be a part of the whole thing and to, and to step up, uh, you know, like we usually always do. You know, um, it's you know, without the Red Cross and in, in, in situations like that, you know, I mean, they help everybody uh, everywhere in any type of situation. So, you know, it's just, it's it's not, they don't pick and choose where they want to go. They help everybody in any time of need. You know, the Red Cross, I didn't know how it broke down and stuff, you know, how it all works. So I really learned a lot by doing that trip <clears throat> also. But a lot of it's voluntary. The Red Cross is really a lot of voluntary people. Uh, the chapter out of Tallis has got a few people and now has got salary gigs, but they keep the company going, keep the, the organization going. But uh, for the most part, those people are voluntarily going out there to spend time to help people out. And it's amazing, man. they got smiles on their faces. They're, they're trying to get those people's spirits up. And that's not an easy gig. And those people do it, and they do it in a great, great way. You still have family there? I do, yeah. And they're all Everybody safe. Okay? Luckily, everybody's okay. Yeah. Luckily, by the grace of God. But uh, some friends didn't fare too well. And like I said, a lot of them don't have homes anymore. And it's... Wow. It's tough, but uh, they're going to be okay. Pitch yeah. your Oklahoma people are tough. <laughs> I promise well, you. It's neat what you guys did to pitching in, so to speak. Um, on the more fun things, no I guess, there. No pun yeah. intended at all. Pitching into pitcher. <laughs> so, um, what have you guys been doing in Vegas so far? Just landed. Yeah. Oh, did you really? Okay, so you, have, so you haven't the lost any money? In. No, thank goodness. <laughs> Ask Usually at this point we have. It's amazing. We're lucky so far. <laughs> it's a good idea to come in really like the last yeah. minute. What else? Uh, and uh, You know, you never know with TV, so I'll ask. You're doing the single on the show? Yes, we Seeing, are. I mean, because you never know for sure what. Every day. What we're doing do. every day. And uh, it's it's a great one, you know. It's uh, very befitting for what has happened the past week there in Pittsburgh. Yeah. So. yeah, it really is. But I don't know if it'll have the exact same meaning, though, as it, as it did when we just did Dancing with the Stars last week. Because, you know, we did every day, and, and you've got... Uh, you know, people dancing to it. So they're like a live video. So it'll always it, singing. I guess when we we'll close our eyes, we'll just picture the. I don't know. Was it Mario? Not Mario Lopez. It was one Apollo. of them. <laughs> yeah. Apollo. Oh yeah, yeah Apollo. Apollo. Yeah, and, and uh, Julianne yeah. Huff. Yeah. yeah. They were yeah. making out, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. The song will never have quite the same meaning. We got to let you guys go, okay. but I, we do want to uh, remind everybody that for the first time ever, the fans can vote for Entertainer of the Year, and these guys are nominated for Entertainer of the Year. ACMVote.com. Good luck. We'll keep our Thanks. fingers Thanks crossed. Break a leg. See you guys later, Thanks, man. Brother. Great stuff you guys do, man. Thanks,